Hey, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, man? It's King Locke. Welcome to another episode right here in Sassoua. The Sassoua you don't see, you know what I'm saying? The Sassoua you don't hear about, you know? We got your nine at the plate. This is where the baseball players are made of, baby. You know, Dominican Republic is number one when it comes to breeding baseball players. You understand? This is their sport. Yeah. I guess it's another little river. A little stream. Let the motherfuckers off and then they swim around and then they take them back. Oh, they just not start letting them off? Yeah. Well, they, no, he they used to didn't do that. No, but he comes here almost every afternoon, though. And the one that's out there, like the, out there, out there, that comes in the morning. But he never comes to the shore. This motherfucker comes close to the shore. They might even get off. Depends how close he wants because you can't really get too close because it's really shallow, shallow right there at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, and, and thousands of people gonna hear you because this damn show records. I, I might I put some music. About. I might put some music to it, bro. Yeah. I want people to think I know what I'm talking about. Oh, he, see, he heading out. He can't get too close. I got another homie, right? That was. So on today's episode, we're gonna talk about uh, we're gonna talk about why why you should be uh, mindful of your taxi driver. There are a few things your taxi driver may do. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, what I mean by taxi driver, I'm talking about motor controls, and I'm talking about regular taxi drivers. You got to be real careful with your taxi drivers because they end up trying to overcharge you. Like one guy, uh, he was down in Porta Plata. He got a girl, a good little friend of mine, uh, 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 a good brother. You know, he's been living here. Well, he just came here. He's uh, he trying to spend a few months down here in Porta Plata and, and, and travel around a little bit. So uh, one of his women was like, yeah, man, you know, uh, let's take the taxi. So he was like, okay, well, how much the taxi drive is from like, maybe like two miles, five minutes down, five minutes back, you know. Uh, the taxi driver said basically $30. That's 1,500 pesos. So he was like, no, I'm not, I'm not spending that. So she was like, okay, cool. She got in the taxi and said she'll just pay it herself. And then she'll, um, she'll, um, she'll still visit the brother, you know? And, uh, and so what I told him was that that was good. He was on his toes. He got a lot of experience in, so he don't have to pay no $30 for no taxi drive. But that's how these guys will do you, because one thing about it, the Dominicans are not paying um, $30 for a taxi drive. Ain't no Dominican paying $30 for no taxi drive, because even his girl was trying to influence him, like, yo, man, that's, that's true. That's how much the taxi drive is. You know what I'm saying? The taxi drive is $30 for like two miles. So uh, so I, we was like, nah, man, if you look at her lifestyle and how she's living, she damn sure ain't paying $30 for a taxi drive it's just two miles up the road. She ain't paying $30 for a taxi drive anyway. Most Dominicans are not even riding in a taxi. And I, and I tell, and I tell, and I told him that. I said, if your girl, if your girl riding in a taxi, because you paying for it, you're a gringo, you paying for it. And most Dominican women ride taxis when they're going to see a gringo, a tourist, or somebody like that. Other than that, they on public transportation. And another thing, most real Dominican women really prefer you to go pick them up yourself than to ride in a taxi. You'll hear a lot of girls say, I had a lot of girls tell me, hey, I'd rather you just be in a taxi with me. 
and I could never understand. I'm like, you yeah, ride a taxi by your damn self. I never understood why they used to always say, why don't you come in a taxi? He pick, you pick me up in the taxi, I ride back with you in the damn taxi. I never could understand that. And this is what real good women are saying. The reason they say that is because most taxi drivers carrying a lot of money in their pocket. They're going to fuck your girl for you fuck her. They're going to be bringing her to the house. They're going to shoot. They're going to get their dick jacked or sucked or something. Something going to go on. You understand what I'm saying? And not, not saying that the girl would do it, but I'm saying this is what happens with, and this is why most of the good women will be like, they don't want to ride no taxis. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, on numerous occasions, I've known plenty of situations where the taxi driver uh, uh, pretty much Pretty much, um, and right, and guys, you see the background. It's a sewer right now. This is another playa. This is another beach that a lot of tourists and uh, gringos, you guys are really scared to come here for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, Y'all like to go to uh, Plaza Sassua a lot, but you know, I'm out here with the locals. I like to kick it with the locals. And this one, man, it's just a bunch of Dominicans and Haitians, and it's just me and one, one, one more American out here. We out here chilling. And, uh, and yeah, so that's what happens a lot of time, man. So I told the brother, I said, listen, if your girl rides that taxi by herself and feel comfortable, and she's defending the taxi driver like that, you know what I'm saying? She already knows she in the business of man going. She already know what's going. She already know what's going on. What gonna happen was that taxi driver ain't never probably 150 pesos. But what he was gonna do is give her 500 pesos and he was gonna keep the other thousand. So that's what I'm saying, guys. You guys got to know what's going on and know what's up, man. And see, most, most Dominicans, man, I can ride from Cabarete to Puerto Plata for just 100, for 100 pesos. If that, maybe 80 pesos. Damn sure not 1,000 pesos. Not 1,500 pesos, not 500 pesos. I can do that real easy, real comfortably as well. So, yeah, man, so think about what I just said. Even the motor control guys, man, they would get you. You know what I'm saying? And they would get your girl. One girl told me, she said, listen, never trust your girlfriend with the Dominican." If you got a Dominican girlfriend, why? Because they're going to steal your girl. They're going to try to steal her every chance they get. She said, you want to be the one to pick her up. You want to be the one to take charge because this is an alpha male lion's den type of movement. We want to stand up and be there for our women. We don't want no other man, no taxi driver, no none of that. You got to do it yourself. Even if you got to go pick her up in a taxi, you got to send her a taxi. You go in the taxi or unless you send her in public transportation. That's the public car with a lot of more people in it, and that's that public van with a lot of more people in it. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, she's in the middle. Oh, shit. Oh, my bad. My bad, guy. Pardon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at he over here. Yeah, that's what's going on. All right, look. So, yeah, y'all see what's going on. Hola, hola, hola. Saludos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yo, yeah, what's up? That's what's up. Yo, yeah, what's up, man? So, hey, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, man. Make sure y'all. Sign up for the Lions Den. A lot of you guys want to join the Lions Den, man. Make sure you join the Lions Den. And, uh, you know, uh, hit me up on Instagram at number one, K-I-N-G underscore lock it. That's number one, K-I-N-G underscore lock it. Man, jump in the Lions Den, man. We're we doing big things, man. And uh, it's a, like I say, man, it's like a sorority. It's like a big sorority, man. You know what I'm saying? Each one teach one. Iron sharpen iron, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling good. I'm looking good, man. Y'all my chill, man. We out here. We out here on the beach right now, man. Fly Chiquito. Got Fly Chiquita, Fly Alicia, Fly Tasua, and Fly Chiquito. All right, so yeah, that's where we at right now, man, having a good time.
Having a good time out this motherfucker, man. You know what I'm talking about? What's up? It's your boy King Lockett, man. AKA Ray. Hey, look, we out here in Sassua right now, man. You know. And you see it ain't nothing but the locals. But hey, man, I hope you enjoyed the video about the taxi driver. Make sure you watch the taxi driver. And make sure you fan for your lady if she's a real woman. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all take it easy and stay tuned for the next video. I will be dropping something very soon, man. Hey, and again, you might want to check out that Lions Den, man. And if you ain't got your passport, get your passport, baby, because I'm out here having a good time, man. And you should, too. Peace. Hey, man, y'all got to see this shit, for real. It's like a house on sticks. Man, you got to see this shit. Watch this shit. Hold on. <laughs> man, I think there ain't nothing dancing or some shit. Hold on. My bad. I haven't seen it all. Yeah, I haven't seen it all. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs>